Hello there. I uh, thought we'd do a quick dramas materials video. I haven't done one of these videos for a while, but uh, recently a lot of people have been asking about which brand of latex I use. Now I don't have a particular preference um, for what brand of latex I do use, but I do use Polycraft latex and the reason being is I know the product and I know the material and I know it's going to be reliable when I buy it. I have bought other brands in the past which the latex has sort of turned out a funny colour but that's been a very rare occurrence so um, I don't think there's, I haven't really bought any bad latex by the brands but I just stuck with the Polycraft brand because just because it's reliable and I know, and I know what I'm going to get. So I tend to buy the latex, depending on how much mould I've got to do, this is a 5 litre container, which is quite old and you see it's turned orange there, that's probably a bit too old, there's only a little bit left in the bottom anyway. I've got a litre um, container there which is relatively new, so I shall continue using this one on the next moulds that I do, or this particular batch. Of course as you know you get a, once you paint it on your layers you'll get a latex mould which resembles something like this, the material, a nice durable rubber. There are a few latex mould making videos on the channel. I just want to make this video because there has been a lot of people asking about what I use. And of course you pour it into your pot or container and use a brush just to brush up on the layers, brush up the layers. You can see that on other videos on the channel. Uh, of course this video is just showing you what latex I use. So the price I pay around about £7.50 in British pounds for a litre size container and 5 litres I pay £25 in British pounds. So the 1 litre £7.50 would probably be around $12-$13 perhaps in American dollars and the £25 would probably be around $30-$40, I'm just guessing here, in US dollars. A latex dipping rubber for self-releasing flexible moulds for detailed castings in polyester resin, plaster and other cold cure materials. Easy to use, just dip or brush the original model in the liquid rubber, then leave to dry. Apply the next coat as soon as the first coat is dry. So when I'm using latex, I tend to I tend to make latex moulds when I'm casting concrete. But like it says here, you can use polyester, polyester resin. Um, but you need to prepare your mould if you're casting polyester resin. But that's a topic for another day. So I'd use latex mainly for concrete and plaster. Shake well before use. Brush dip a thin coat of latex on the model. Be careful not to puddle the latex. A gentle stream of air can help to blow latex into the finest detail and break any bubbles. Let each coat dry for four to 16 hours in a warm ventilated room. Drying time depends on temp temperature and humidity. Warm, dry air is necessary for fast drying. When dry, the latex loses its milky appearance and becomes slightly translucent and amber in colour. So yeah, you'll find when you're uh, putting your layers of latex on, you'll see, especially over like the first couple of coats, you want to get rid of all those air bubbles that will most likely appear on those coats. And you can, I, I tend to blow them out or keep a fan going just to pop those bubbles to give you a nice layer which fills in the detail. Like I say there's there's plenty of videos on the channel and all over YouTube of course showing you how to do the, uh, the mould making or the mould making process. So properties apply 6 to 30 coats depending on the desired mould thickness. Moulds are typically 1.5 to 3 millimetres thick. For large flat models, apply latex in a checkerboard pattern, alternating squares between coats. Since there is some shrinkage on drying, the patchwork method reduces stress and warping of the latex as it dries. Well, I've not used the checkerboard 
pattern uh, method, but uh, that's food for thought in the future. Uh, depending on the size of mold, uh, depend depending on the size of the model which you're molding will sort of dictate how many coats to put on your model to make your mold. This particular mold here, which is a small Buddha mold, I think that is actually 30 coats, but that's a bit overkill then. But sometimes I make the smaller ones thicker to see if I can get away without making a mother mold. So I could probably half the amount of layers I put on this particular mold if I use or make a mother mold and there's lots of mother mold making videos on the channel also so uh, I don't need to go into too much depth here I would put 30 layers on a relatively big or large mold uh, there's a dragon um, I've just finished and that's probably about maybe a foot and a half two feet tall and that had a good 30 layers of latex on the mould. So there we are, liquid latex. I hope that helps out with all the people that have been asking about what brand of latex I use. And like I say, I have no preference, it's just that I know this product and I use it because it's reliable to me. So anyway, just a quick Dramas Materials video to fill in about liquid latex. So thanks for watching and see you soon.